This video covers details on DNA and RNA and is geared towards Leaving Cert Biology revision in Ireland. So let's begin with DNA and its full name, deoxyribonucleic acid. Make sure you know that. So what are the important details on DNA? Well, DNA is made up of these units called nucleotides. Imagine them like building blocks. And each one of these DNA nucleotides or building blocks contains three things. It each has a 5-carbon sugar, deoxyribose is the name of the sugar, a phosphate group and a nitrogen-containing base. Each DNA nucleotide, each one of those building blocks, has a nitrogen-containing base and it can either be adenine, thymine, guanine or cytosine in DNA. And it's very important that you know their full names. It's important to know also that adenine and guanine are purines and thymine and cytosine are pyrimidines. One way of summarising the information is to perhaps make a chart. So DNA is known as deoxyribonucleic acid. The building blocks of DNA are called nucleotides and each nucleotide in DNA has a 5-carbon sugar, deoxyribose, a phosphate group and one of those four nitrogen-containing bases. And you could write in their names, adenine, thymine, guanine and cytosine and list which ones are purines and which ones are pyrimidines. DNA has a very particular shape. It's a double helix. So you've got these two long strands of nucleotides and then they further wrap around into this helical shape. What keeps the two strands of the double helix together? It's hydrogen bonding and the hydrogen bonds are formed between complementary base pairs. So the adenine base will only ever bond with a thymine base and they're held together by two hydrogen bonds. And the guanine and cytosine, well those bases will only ever bond with each other and with three hydrogen bonds. So let's move on to the other nucleic acid, RNA, and know its full name, ribonucleic acid. The basic details on RNA, it's made up of these units, these molecules called nucleotides, the building blocks. And each nucleotide in RNA also has three parts. It has a 5-carbon sugar. In this case, it's ribose. That's a big difference. It also has a phosphate group. And the nucleotides also have one of four nitrogen-containing bases. The bases in RNA are adenine, uracil, cytosine and guanine and the big difference is that there is no thymine. Instead of thymine there is uracil in RNA. So summarise what you now know about RNA. Its name is ribonucleic acid. The building blocks of RNA are nucleotides. Each RNA nucleotide contains a 5-carbon sugar, in this case it's ribose, a phosphate group and one of four nitrogen-containing bases. And you know that the bases are adenine, uracil, guanine and cytosine. It's important to know that there are three types of RNA ribosomal RNA, messenger RNA and transfer RNA and it's very important that you know the role of messenger RNA and transfer RNA in protein synthesis. Something else that's important to know about RNA is that it's a single stranded molecule. Very important to remember that. So what is different between DNA and RNA? Well firstly DNA has a 5 carbon sugar called deoxyribose. RNA also has a 5-carbon sugar, but it's ribose, so the two sugars are different. In DNA, there is the base thymine, whereas in RNA, there is the base uracil. There's no thymine. DNA is a double-stranded molecule, whereas RNA is single-stranded. So that's a short run-through on DNA and RNA. Remember, always do pass papers and check the official marking schemes and always use your textbook. And please note that these videos are not made for monetary gain. Best of luck.